Howdy folks, Scott Review Guys. It's an exciting time in the career of the Review Guys. Very soon, very soon, I'll make a video explaining these things. But it's, uh, it was an exciting time last night on Monday Night Raw, was it not? I found it to be uh, a pretty darn entertaining show. Uh, I've been iffy. I've been uh, judgmental, maybe not the best word. Uh, on on the the state of raw, but they really seem to uh, I think they did a good job Last night, so let's talk about it. Why don't we? Uh, oh, I do want to begin by saying um, a, a longtime friend of the review guys uh, named uh, Michael Robinson has started a new forum called the called pride of wrestling pride of wrestling .com. I will put the link over yonder uh, you know, news and uh, discussion and whatnot. If you're interested in that kind of thing, have a look. Uh, the more, the merrier. So that's that. I, uh, I, I I wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, so if you want to, you don't have to. I'm not pressuring anybody to do anything. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I'm a face. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the show begins, and I have to say, the first 20 minutes of this program carried the weight and the intensity that I wish the first 20 minutes of the Bret Hart return had carried. Uh, Vince comes out, talks about Bret some more, uh, then out comes The Undertaker. Now, The Undertaker is, in my opinion, the... Uh, this man has presence. I love him. I, I'm, I, the reason he's a legend in his own time is that he carries with him such an amazing presence. And it's just, it's just amazing. But all, also, I was a little nervous about what's going to happen with Shawn Michaels. Uh, so, um, Undertaker comes out, tells Vince, you know, you're afraid of Brett after what you've done to him, and Vince leaves, which was kind of weird that Vince said, well, I disagree, and he left. So then out comes uh, Shawn Michaels, because the Undertaker wants to answer his, his call, or his whatever, his, his, his rematch show thing. I'm trying to think of the word, it's not there. Anyway, um... So this is where, for me, it became interesting because I was like, ooh, because you, you saw the video, I assume, or I hope, uh, where I asked on your, uh, for your opinions on the rematch, and I'm, I, to reiterate, I'm not okay with Shawn Michaels losing a second time in, the, in, a, in a row, but I'm also not under, uh, okay with The Undertaker losing his title. Nothing has changed, but, uh, so I'm, I'm thinking, hmm, um, uh, Undertaker says, no, I have nothing to prove to you, so no, you don't get a rematch unless you want it tonight. And I thought, oh, good, because I was excited. But then Michaels said, no, not going to happen. Uh, but he said he will go to win the Royal Rumble and he will face Undertaker for the title. Now, like I said, my opinions haven't changed. I still don't want to see either of them lose, but I'm now interested, you know. I was dreading it, and now I'm interested to see where this goes. Who knows? Because, you know, I mean, let's be honest. Everybody says he's going to win the Royal Rumble, which maybe we'll get to in a minute, some of the, some of the new people. First match of the night was uh, Sheamus versus Evan Bourne. Uh, may I uh, speak? Vince McMahon, are you listening, Vince? Buddy? I need to speak directly to you real quick. Um, I say, why don't you fire Evan Bourne? And why don't you get you a nice jobber, okay? It's probably a lot cheaper. Evan can go somewhere and be happier uh, doing actually wrestling. And you can just get some local boy to get squashed every week. Uh, problem solved. It's all about the money. See, I feel bad for Bourne. We've been over this a million times. But I'll just say, I mean, my God. Why? Um, uh, so Seamus, uh, I think he got two offensive moves in. Seamus... Bang. Sm squashes him. It does bother me. Anybody bothered by that the Celtic Cross, the name was taken from Finley and given to Seamus? It's another thing that bugs me about Seamus. He took Finley, who I respect a great deal. He took Finley's move. It bothers me. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, so Orton comes and it kind of distracts everything. And uh, Oh, the, the crowd was chanting Randy, Randy, and RKO and everything. So let's talk about that in just a second. Now Swagger comes out and challenges uh, anybody, or he challenges Santino again to uh, throw him over the top rope. And Santino comes out dressed very much like me, only better. I, I only have one coat. This is this is all I've got. But Santino's not gonna not gonna do it. But he sends out Mark Henry, 
instead to try and throw Swagger over. Now, Swagger is just looking ridiculous. I'm sorry. Uh, this was a guy that they were very seriously pushing, and now all of a sudden it's not so... F he's not... I can't take him seriously anymore. I, I was very slowly warming up. I, I, we, we've talked about this, I'm sure. But anybody that I feel is being forced on me, that management is saying, you will like and respect and fear this guy. I always buck and say, wait a minute, no, no, no. I like someone when I like someone. In fact, I, I sometimes think that slows down my process of warming up to people. But Swagger, I finally was starting to like, and now it's, I can't, I can't, I just can't. I can't respect that. So Mark Henry comes out, and uh, what is my time looking like? Okay, let's talk real quick about Mark Henry. I found another, I, I'm always thinking of things, you know. So Mark Henry has WSM on the back of his thing, World's Strongest Man, but also we talked about the call uh, letters of the station that uh, played the Grand Old Opry, right? I thought of another Grand Old Opry connection uh, because they used in the Grand Old Opry, they used to have a big uh, red uh, barn on their stage. And Mark Henry wears this giant red suit. Isn't that a wonderful connection? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have uh, brought that up. It just things go through my through my mind. Uh, let's see. So we got Don Johnson and um, and you know I I was kind of iffy. I, I'm I'm on the f I'm not, I'm off the fence about the uh, guest host situation. I I I, I kind of think the guest host uh, concept needs to be phased out. Although this was okay. This was all right with John Heater, although he didn't really, uh, well, he, he was okay. I like him a lot. And I was going to try to find my, my little talking Napoleon Dynamite figure, but I couldn't find it. And that bothers me, because I can find everything that I own. Bother. Maybe somebody stole it, because it's really cool. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, moving on. Um... Okay, I don't know. It's, uh, something with MVP and, um... Um, the um, Five Big Show. Yeah, we're going to skip all that because I don't even really uh, remember it and it was obviously not terribly important if I don't remember it. Uh, Cena and Kofi versus Legacy. Now, Cena supposedly not... His back is hurt. And I think it's from all of those FUs of all of those enormous men. I'm sorry. Maybe not the best thing to do. Uh, but I, I, you know, I hope for his sake that he gets... that he's okay and will be able to participate in uh, the way that he wants to participate. Uh, Hornswoggle and John were added to the main event between DX and... DX and Miz and Big Show. That's it. That's what all that was all about. I'm, I'm, I'm just slowly... It's unraveling. <laughs> it's coming apart. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Triple... Uh, Orton... Okay, here we go. Orton versus Chris Masters. Now, here's the question for this portion of the program. Um, is Randy Orton being turned face? Are they going to be able to have a heel-on-heel -heel match? And obviously, Orton is going to be uh, cheered um, more heavily because Orton is over. And that's one of those weird things that, uh, you know, y y the audience can, can hate somebody but like them. Um, and that's the way it should be. Uh, but this just, again, I'm not going to rub it in, but it goes to show that, that Orton has the has what it takes. Uh, so, But I, I think that if he wins, uh, or if he loses, whatever happens, he could very easily go back to being a heel. He's such a wonderful, natural heel. He did some stuff last year before WrestleMania. When he kissed the lifeless body of Stephanie McMahon, I was watching it going, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> because it was beautiful in its evilness. I loved it. Oh, my. Uh, so, yeah, I hope Randy doesn't turn face. I think he would make a good face someday. But I think that he, more than anybody, can pull off the top, the heel role. So, let's hope he stays a... Uh, let's hope he stays. But he... Um, oh, something else I noticed. Uh, Chris Masters gets the master lock in, right? And uh, Jerry Lawler says... I don't think I've seen I've ever seen anybody break the master lock. And I said, yes, I know who broke the master lock. It was Bobby Lashley. I can't say that. <laughs> he doesn't work for us anymore. So that's just something uh, something there. 
Big Show, Miz, oh by the way, yeah, so Kofi, Cena, Kofi, Legacy, uh, Cena and Kofi won, didn't do a whole lot for me, I've never really been a huge fan of the Legacy Boys, I feel like they just need to find a new place to fit in, in my opinion. Big Show, Miz, and Heater versus DX and Hornswoggle, uh, not a whole lot there either, but at the end of the show, Triple H says, um... Uh, Triple H says, I gotta tell you, Sean, this whole plan of yours isn't gonna work because I am in the Royal Rumble. And everybody comes in and gets thrown out, and it's all a big mess. And Triple H is the last man standing, which I really hope is not what's happening. January 31st, time is short, but who will be the one? That's the question. Who will be the one? I'll be back in uh, very shortly with a special video, and we'll talk to you very soon. Adios.